Hello officials! Welcome back to the channel! Yeah, sorry, just pure blatantly copying PewDiePie there the when he was doing the whole jumping out of things there. S sorry, mate. It was funny. Try it yourself. Hello officials and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Five Fast Facts with me, Dan, from the Visual Guys. Um, yeah, you already know that bit. And yeah, welcome back to another episode of Five Fast Facts. Wow, that Sonic episode blew right up. I need, I, it's Five Fast Facts, it's supposed to be short videos, but I need to quickly get this out there. But thank you so fucking much. Now, th there's been one in between, there's been a couple in between this video and that one. I'm going to go with face cam again as well, because you guys seem to really enjoy the Sonic face cam one. I had a Nidder King one and whatever Chris has put out in between this and, and that one. But that blew up a hell of a lot more than I realised. Thank you so, so much for all the love and support on that video and all the other videos and everything you do for the channel, social media and stuff. That is amazing. Um, but yeah, we'll get on with this week's Five Fast Facts. I love all of you. You're fucking beautiful. And this week we're talking about Chris Evans, Mr. Captain America himself. Uh, more Chris Evans and related Captain America facts, not facts about Captain America then that then tie on with Chris Evans. I don't know if I said that the right way. But it's all about Chris Evans. Here's a, a kind of a shocker, but not a shocker to think about it. But Chris Evans was never a comic book fan, which I kind of can, can see. I imagine back in school, he would have been like the sports guy, the one that's playing all the sports and doing all the cool stuff and going to parties and that. He is so good looking, right? I would, I would, I'm putting out that I would go there, okay? I would go there. Just saying. But yeah, he was never a comic book fan. But, uh, I've tried to memorise, this is like the millionth take of this one, but uh... <laughs> I just keep forgetting one or two, but Chris Evans has been playing Captain America since 2011 and he's appeared in every year since his debut since in, in a yearly thingy. These are the roles that he's, he's thingied. In 2011, obviously he was Captain America the First Avenger, 2012 in Avengers Assemble, 2013 in For the Dark World uh, when Loki turns into him, uh, 2014 Captain America Winter Soldier, uh, 2015 Age of Ultron, uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, uh, 2016 Captain America Civil War, 2017 Spider-Man Homecoming because obviously he's on the TV and stuff and he was our final uh, cutscene and 2018 Avengers Infinity War so he's, since his debut he's been in a Marvel film every year Chris Evans actually turned down the role to play Captain America three times because he was worried that the sudden shoot uh, to fame would destroy his private life and it was none other than Robert Downey Jr. that persuaded him to take up the role and fuck me oh I'm so happy he did because Captain America and Chris Evans are one and the same. She's never going to come across this right, but Chris Evans' prom date, uh, so obviously he finished graduate high school and they did his prom and stuff, ditched him at the end of the night um, to go back to her ex-boyfriend. How stupid would you feel now knowing on this big screen, maybe one of the biggest well-known actors at the minute, um, playing one of the most iconic, well-known characters at the minute and saying, I ditched him for an ex. What the fuck? And here's another one which may contradict what I said about the first, like, uh, the first fact about him being a sports guy and stuff. But he actually has an anxiety. He's been suffering with anxiety all of his life. And the way that he deals with it and, like, tries to control it is by using tap dance, which is absolutely amazing. I, I can't give any opinion on what anxiety is like. Um, so if that actually works, then, oh my friggin' god, it's paying off. You wouldn't think he's got anxiety or anything like that. In interviews and on the big screen, he just looks so comfortable and level-headed and stuff. So there we go, visuals. That was this week's Five Fast Facts. Hopefully it wasn't too long. It probably is going to be a bit longer because I had to get the fankies and stuff out there. Because you guys are amazing. And remember, if you do like the video, could you bleh, could you bleh, could you bleh. I'm sick of saying like and subscribe, so now I just... Bleh, bleh, bleh. Mainly at the end of these as well. But visuals, thank you for everything. You are the best. If there's anyone you want five fast facts on, let us know in the comments below. And I will see y'all down the road. That's not really my end. And that's what Stone Cold Steve Austin says. Keep it you and keep on keeping on. Oh, you're still here. Well, hope you enjoyed that video of visuals. And if you do want some more visual guy cracks and randomness, see what we're up to. Definitely go check out our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitters. Apart from that...